Okay guys, I know it's windy, but uh, this is the 1989 Chevy C1500 two-wheel drive that uh, we got last year, had a V6 in it, and uh, of course the motor was bad, so my brother had a 350 lying around, gave it to us and we put it in. It's not a bad truck at all, so. Thump. Love that sound. I'll start it up. Not good. About half the exhaust is new. We replaced the front springs and shocks. Runs really good. With the 350 conversion, of course, we had to get a different fan shroud because the V6 fan shroud is longer. And uh, we had to change the computer out in the truck. We had to change the Y pipe. Uh, like I said, the suspension that was all changed over because that was all for a V6. Uh, half the exhaust is new. The Y pipe had to be switched because that was for the V6. But it's not a bad truck. This thing does get up and go. I mean, it needs a little bit of work. The, um, the cab corners are actually starting to go. I'll show you the other side really quick. You can see the cab corners are starting to go on it. That's all right. We'll get some new ones. But that was last winter's project to get this thing good and on the road. It doesn't burn oil, it doesn't, I mean, just runs and drives. Drives pretty damn good. My brother and I have already gotten in trouble with this thing. <laughs> 
our bosses at work keep yelling at us for doing burnouts in the parking lot. <laughs> But I mean, it's not a bad truck. So this was last winter's project. I'll probably post a video about the other truck. You can see it right there, 84 Chevy. Uh, I got a few different things that I still might, uh, that I'm considering doing. Here's the Junker. 1984 Chevy K10. Four wheel drive. For those of you who don't know what that is. It is a rust bucket. I got some different plans for it. Yeah, I painted that fender, which honestly, I mean, I painted that fender in four hours. So I'll probably go over it again. I'm probably just gonna primer this whole truck black do a little bit of body work, get it running good, keep it for the winter, yeah, I have the grill for it, and all that. Yeah. I'll show you guys the inside, the inside and the interior is screwed. I mean, the seats are obviously tore up. I mean, look at the floor. Good God. But you know, when I got the truck, the dude I bought the truck from, it, the dude gave me new cab corners and rockers and stuff for this truck. I don't know if I'm gonna put them on this truck. I might do it. I, I, I might get a welder, a torch and a welder, and I might, I mean, this would be a nice project to sort of teach myself how to do. Well, I probably won't, I probably won't teach myself. I know a few people know how to weld. I'll probably have them teach me, and this would be a perfect project for it. But uh, it's a beater. She runs. Doesn't run well, but she runs. She'll run decent by the time I'm done with it for this winter. Get through some snow. And yeah, paint the rest of the truck. We'll see. And there's the Colorado four-wheel drive. Man, how the hell do people walk and do this? Oh yeah, that's right, they have a better camera than me. And I'll talk to you guys next time.